Kiprop has actually stated that his first name, Asbel, right. means determined. Well, he's certainly that. Underway in the men's 1500, and Kipchoge didn't get off the line all that quickly, but now he and Kiprop are beginning to accelerate. It's Nick Tui over on the inside having a look around as the two from the outside quickly cross, and it's going to be Kipchoge who's going to set the pace. Kiprop is going to settle up in second position, and it looks as though Lachlan Renshaw is going to be up there in the early stages. Uh, I should say Jeff Risley is going to be up there in the early stages to occupy a fairly forward position. They come down to get the bell and it's Kipchoge in front. Kiprop second. The Australian Risley last year's winner in third. Can he hang on? Can he kick? Webb in fourth. Willis has got himself up into a nice place. In fact, the man in sixth place has also got himself back on that front pack and that is Lee Emanuel. They're the ones as they go down the back. Kipchoge pulls off. Kiprop, the Olympic champion, is in front. Risley, has he got the kick to be able to go with him? Kiprop looks very comfortable down the back straight. Willis is back in third place at the moment. Alan Webb is still up in front of him. Less than 200 metres to go. Risley running really well. Kiprop looks as though he still has plenty left. Willis trying to raise the effort back in fourth, but he's got to get past Webb first. It's Kiprop, the Olympic champion, at the top of the straight, leading by a couple of metres from Risley, who's run bravely. Webb gets to the outside. Willis has got no answer. Risley's run up to Kiprop. Risley's run past Kiprop, and he's got to do it back to back. Jeff Risley all of a sudden runs over the top of the Olympic champion and beats Asbel Kiprop, Webb third, Willis fourth. Well, he sat on his back. You always expected that Kiprop might run away from him, but the Australian had other ideas. In his mind, I'm sure Risley's thinking, I'm feeling OK, but maybe in the back of his mind he was just expecting Kiprop to run away, but he was never able to do that. No, he was looking, Risley was looking very comfortable coming around that last 100 metres, and as you could just see there, over that last 50 metres...